now, it appears pumpkin spice is here to stay. Michael George, CBS News, New York. So I didn't realize mm -hmm. you and I are both team not pumpkin spice. My biggest issue is when it starts like nine weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't it start in August? The middle of August. That it started August. in August, right? That's what you. That's fine. And he's guy, the defender that's fine. right there. This guy he's with the his defender. pumpkin spice bathroom wipes. <laughs> and deodorant and chapstick. And shall I go on? No. No, although I saw you have a, a whole thing for we this. We will go on. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> PSL season will. well underway, Jenny, Todd. <laughs> That's where those mild temperatures are going to be sticking with us, along with the damp conditions as well. So go ahead, soak it up for about the next month or so, and then we can put it to bed and uh, then enter into peppermint season. You see that transition there? All right, here's a live look out over the Vancouver areas. Those cloudy skies still remain. All thanks to our Riverview Bank camera. A few nice little pops in the trees as far as the fall foliage goes. Again, reminiscent of pumpkin spice as we currently sit at about 57 degrees. Expecting maybe an on again, off again rain shower as we work our way through the rest of this evening with satellite and radar showing the widespread cloud coverage across our region. Again, a lingering raindrop or two is still in our forecast for the rest of this evening, but we do start to work towards our drying trend just in time for Saturday. But you can see that moisture that's still lingering out over the Pacific Ocean, eventually making its way back into our area. As our rain gauges have kind of been lackluster today, despite the gloomy and kind of uh, damp conditions. One one hundredth of an inch here in the bucket for the Rose City. Just about the same found out along the coastline as we do anticipate these numbers to once again start to increase as we work our way through the rest of the weekend. But as far as the fall foliage goes, really seeing the ash trees and the locust trees coming to an end. A lot of those raindrops bringing those leaves to the surface and that's where we expect to see some muddy conditions near our feet level as we work our way to those corn mazes and pumpkin patches this weekend. Although Saturday is going to be the drier day for us as opposed to Sunday, where those temperatures will cool back into the mid 60s and we prepare for an atmospheric river. Up in elevation, that's where we're talking about the snowfall, a nice winter wonderland site there out towards the Mount Hood Meadows area. Right now, not necessarily picking up on any active snowflakes, but we have seen them over the past several hours as the snow elevation level retreats back up to about 7,000 feet. Warmer temperatures this weekend will help aid in that as we do see the return of the wet weather by the end of the weekend, the start next week. So there you go. Our future cast showing those splash and dash showers for the rest of this evening, keeping those cloudy skies and the mild temperatures tonight with lows in the 50s, highs tomorrow in the 70s, breaking apart some of the cloud coverage late Saturday night into Sunday as we prepare for yet again another weak, short-lived atmospheric river. You can see the wall of water working its way back to the coastline and the I-5 quarter, helping to fill up those rain gauges once again as we approach Sunday afternoon and evening. So we stay for the mostly dry side for the I-5 quarter. If you're traveling out to the coast this weekend, likely going to be picking up a few stray raindrops, not only on Saturday, but again on Sunday as the atmospheric river tongue starts to lick parts of western Oregon and southwest Washington. That's where we do anticipate the brunt of that atmospheric river to impact parts of British Columbia and parts of western Washington as it slowly starts to drift its way further to the south. Tonight, a hit and miss shower. Temperatures falling back into the mid 50s. Tomorrow, back up to 70 degrees. A nice little warming trend for us, despite the mostly cloudy skies. Winds out of the south at about 3 to 5. And for our seven day forecast, we do anticipate that that wet weather really starts to ramp up for the second half of the day on Sunday. Lingers into Monday, drops those temperatures from the mid 60s on Sunday to the low 60s. And those early morning lows also starting to fall back into the 40s. But hey, I want to alert you of a fun little activity to be done tomorrow out at OMSI in the main auditorium at 10 a.m. It's free to the public. All meteorologists here across the Pacific Northwest will be gathering to discuss what is in store for the winter here in the Pacific Northwest. There's a La Nina in place and that's continuing to develop and that's really kind of our guidance of what we typically see moving into those colder months. And right now at coin.com, Kelly Barron has a nice little breakdown of what she's expecting for us. And uh, of course, you can uh, come join us tomorrow at 10 a.m. at OMSI. I, I'll let you just go and. I'll give you the breakdown, <laughs> Jenny. Don't worry, Jenny is going to be reading the article. She will. Yeah. Sure. All right, we'll be right back. <laughs>